10, 10 grand. Grand. For 20 year old Cody Slaughter, this past week resembled a day in the life of Elvis in many ways. Coming from Las Vegas, where he won the Horizon Heart of the King Award for his rendition of a young Elvis, Slaughter found himself at the birthplace, talking to a beauty queen and various city officials. Then he was given a personal tour of the grounds by Dick Guyton, executive director of the Elvis Presley Memorial Foundation. Let's look around a little bit at the house, and then I want to get a picture of you over by the statue. Oh, I'd love to. Let's do it. All right. Slaughter was the grand prize winner of the Tribute Artist Competition at this year's Tupelo Elvis Fest. City leaders invited him back to school him on everything Tupelo, the birthplace, and help him prepare for the interview portion of the competition in Memphis. I think he lived here and, and uh, sat on the porch here and had a dream. In between pausing for a few photos, Slaughter learned of the significance of the music markers honoring Elvis, Heard about the history of the original church where the Presley family worshipped and spent a few moments in the chapel that Elvis had always wanted to have built for his fans. Slaughter says the Tupelo trip helped him get in touch with the human side of the entertainer. You kind of take that with you to Memphis and you take that on stage instead of just getting up there and performing and, and saying, oh, Elvis moved like this or did that. You kind of take his spirit with you, you know. And it just shines through. It shines through. It's amazing, really. Several hours after his visit to the birthplace, Slaughter gave a special performance for friends and family. Cody Slaughter's next stop is Memphis, where he will compete in the Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Competition. Fresh off his big win in Las Vegas, Slaughter is considered a serious contender for the top spot. So as he heads to the Bluff City, he knows that there will be many people in Elvis's hometown cheering him on. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.